Evolution isn't a fully completed process. Not everything is perfectly adapted to their current niches and environments. The slower the reproductive cycle, the more recently an animal or plant has been in a particular niche, the less perfect will be their adaption to it. One example is the giant panda. Now this creature being magically created for its particular environment with it eating bamboo as a major source of its diet and have a digestive system similar to that to most other herbivores. Instead, the panda has a digestive system which shows that until very recently been mainly a carnivore. Let's look at this in detail. When meat is eaten, it produces a large amount of energy for the volume consumed. It also requires very little in the way of a digestive process. It's quite rapidly broken down and absorbed into the body. Leaves, stems and roots, however, in comparison, produce less energy and the cellulose walls of plants require time and preferably the presence of certain bacteria in the digestive system to be broken down, enabling the maximisation of the absorption of what actual nutrition is actually present. Now, giant pandas lack normal bacteria for breaking down these substances. They have very short intestines without all the normal folds associated with herbivores. So why should pandas choose to eat bamboo? There are several factors here. In bamboo forests, bamboo is available all year round in very large quantities. Whereas in these same areas, there are very few large animals for the pandas to actually hunt. So the pandas may initially have supplemented a meat diet or a mixed diet with bamboo, make more and more of it, as a proportion of their diet until they became dependent upon it. Now, due to the size and the environment, the pandas also have very few potential predators, which puts less evolutionary pressure on the other key factor of the predator that the pandas have, which is binocular vision. Two forward-facing eyes enable predators to judge distances in order to catch their prey. Plant-eating animals tend to have up their eyes on the sides of heads, giving a much wider view of their surroundings, making it difficult for predators to sneak up on them. Now, this shows that pandas have not fully adapted to their environment as a normal herbivore would be. Therefore, the evolutionary uh, process is continuing today.